What's happening, everybody? Yo, it's your man, Lyndon Britt, from successwithlyndon.com. Also, the founder of Homeware Marketing, where we cover all bases of your business. Yo, hashtag the accountability got rolling in the day 26 of 90 of my uh, body and business building bonanza that I got going on, man. How's everything going for you all? I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. How are you communicating with you? A lot of people are like, it makes no sense. You can't talk to yourself. Yeah, everybody does it. I don't care what you say. Your conscious ask yourself questions. And for some reason, we tend to answer ourselves. We tend to answer ourselves. So how are you communicating with you? I roll right into what I want to tell you, man. Yo, man, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. This, um, this. I guess this this bonanza. <laughs> I'm enjoying this bonanza. I'm actually learning a lot for myself, communicating with myself, and all that kind of good stuff, man. Oh man, I'm truly enjoying myself. You never know how you can actually learn from the things that that are surrounding you and all that kind of stuff until you begin to take action and, and, and pay attention to the things that are around you. Sometimes a lot of people don't don't. Um, and I'm speaking of myself, things that I used to do as well. Uh, a lot of you don't pay attention to the things around you until you actually make it a conscious effort to focus on how you can improve something. So, but um, how do you communicate with you? How do you communicate with you? Once, once again, man, 26 of 90, man, lots of, I'll, I'll just talk about me. I'll talk about me. Um, man, before I... I'd done a 90 day run before when I first did, when I first uh, started, started my business, I got serious about it, man. And I, I rank advanced in my company. It was, it was a great feeling, something wonderful to be able to experience when I actually focused on getting something done. This time doing this again, doing some with my body and my business and uh, experiencing results. And it's, it's a great and phenomenal feeling. It's a great, a phenomenal feeling, and uh, but the the way that I say you communicate with you is the way you talk to yourself. Uh, one of the mistakes that I used to make when I was when um, working out and kind of daily thing, <clears throat> whenever I didn't get something done, it's almost like I would chastise myself. Um, man, you sorry, you should have done this. Man, you could have done this. Man, you. And I kind of really chastised myself for not getting things done, not finishing things, not completing things. Um, and it was, for me, for, some, for, for me, it was, it was challenging. It was challenging because the one thing I had to realize a little bit later on with those negative things I was telling myself, I use it as motivation to be able to push myself. But at the same time, there are damaging words that if you, if you talk negative to you, negatively to yourself, it's, it's not something that's actually beneficial. <clears throat> and that comes with anything that you're doing. Um, I'm the type of person, I use negativity to feed myself to kind of, I mean, when people tell me I can't do something or when something something bad comes on, I, if, I, if I chastise myself, man, you suck, man, you're doing it. And those are the kind of things I used to tell myself in my mind. And for me, one thing, be like, yo, I'm going to do better. Yo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove me wrong. Prove that mind, a negative mind, because it's so easy for your mind to roll into the negative. I was, I was determined to prove myself wrong. I was determined to grind through anything that I thought negative in my head. But then I began to figure out how it could actually improve my results. And when you, when you talk about how you communicate yourself, it makes it huge different when I tell myself I'm the best, when I tell myself, and it's not to be a, um, how do you say, uh, not to praise myself or anything like that. And just like anybody else that feels you, you want to be the best at what you do. So when you tell yourself, it's not me tooting my own horn, it's me feeding positivity to myself to get me to do even more even do do even more work because I know I'm not where I want to be therefore those positive things that I told myself man that was good you start feeding yourself hey that was good hey you did this this time do this better hey you did that this time do this grind a little bit more whatever it may be man I stopped feeding myself negativity as a 
as a way to catapult myself to do business and feed myself positivity, get myself to do even more. I mean, I felt good about the thing, the, even the small things that I did. I appreciate the small things that I did. All right, now the, the, the challenges that I got going on, I benched my workout yesterday. I did. I will tell y'all that. Uh, parted with my wife Saturday. Man, we had fun. We cut the music up with no TV involved. We just cut the music up, had a good time, man, just spent some time together with music had dinner, had some drinks, just really relaxed and kicked it and stuff like that. And I hadn't done that with my wife in a long time. We've gone different places and we all have fun, but we had done it for ourselves. So we just truly enjoyed each other's company. And <laughs> we were up late and I already, I already know. I was like, more than likely, I'm not going to hear my alarm after, <clears throat> after, after drinking the drinks and stuff like that and just having a good time with her. I knew and lo and behold, I didn't hear my alarm the, <laughs> the next day. Couldn't find out. I was actually... I was asleep and I, I actually ended up sleeping on top of my phone so when the alarm went off, of course it was underneath me and I didn't hear it. And I expected that, I expected that. I mean, those weren't my intentions, but for some reason I knew it was gonna happen. So I missed my workout yesterday, man. So I extend this, I extend this into 26 of 91 days because I'm still rolling into it and get 90 days of work done. But, I didn't chastise myself. Any other day, I would have been on myself like, man, you supposed to be doing 90 straight, man. And I, I'd have kind of dug into myself. But this time, I was like, yeah, look, hey, keep grinding. You know, this isn't over. That's not something I want to create a habit of. So, hey, it's, it's all good. You did that. You spent some time. The positive thing was you spent some time with your wife. You spent some quality time with your wife. Y'all got the opportunity to be able to really enjoy each other's company. Get back on it tomorrow. Let's rock. And it it's a great feeling, man. It's a great feeling to realize you can do those type of things without being damaging to your own mind. You're not feeding yourself something that that makes you want to settle down and curl up and ball up and and whatever, you know. So, man, just but feed yourself positively. How you communicate with yourself makes a huge difference with how you respond to you. And like I said, uh, it it may or may not make sense to you about this, but um, you communicate with yourself through whether even your physical actions, okay? If you have a goal to lose weight, guess what? You're communicating by what you put in your mouth. When you get somewhere, you get to a restaurant. Of course, a lot of people don't cook five or six, seven days a week. So you say you get to the restaurant and rather than picking the most the one thing that you miss all the time it was a burger or pizza or anything else rather than go and picking something one of the most fattening things on the menu because you hadn't had it in a while guess what you go and you decide hey i'm gonna get a salad i'm gonna get some baked chicken instead of getting this and instead of getting the pasta i'm gonna get this and, and you and you learn how to feed yourself better you learn how to do things better and improve that habit of consistently eating good even when you go out you know those type of things make a different different way to communicate with yourself. You sit down and you you make it a plan to um, write out an exercise plan, write out an eating habit, write out write out a, a working schedule. How you how are you going to fit in time with with your family? How you going to so it, it makes a tremendous difference on the things that you begin to do um, when you, when it's just you and your mind. Okay, it makes a huge, tremendous difference when you're able to, uh, hey man, I just lost my thought. I just lost, lost my, oh, that's where it is. What you do when no one else is around, that makes a difference in the results that you get. A lot of people want to, sh a lot of people show up when people are looking. But when you're not, when, when you're by yourself, your thoughts, your actions, what thoughts and actions are you taking when no one's looking? Are you taking those actions where um, are you taking those actions where where you the results that you want make a difference? Or are, are you taking those actions that'll get you where you want to be? Hmm. I think he's gonna get pulled over because he's flying. We'll see. <laughs> Police sitting outside, creeping in the dark. But um, the actions that you take when no one else is looking make a difference in the results that you want. If you're out there grinding on the days when nobody's looking, guess what? It's going to show up. That's why a lot of people think 
oh man, you just came out of nowhere. You got automatic success. Oh, uh, you got this. No, you success overnight. I'm like, no, nah, you didn't see all the days where I stayed up till 11, 12 o'clock at night. You didn't see all the days where I I ate, <laughs> ate three, four, five times a day and it was nothing but healthy meals. You didn't see all the days where my, my workouts were extended the days where I didn't feel like doing anything but I still got up and went to the gym you didn't they don't they don't see all that work all they see is the end result and that all the work that you do is a result of how you communicate with yourself it's a result of the positive things that you fed yourself the things that you things that you read the things that you listened to the things that you did the things that you said to yourself the conversations that you had in your mind, that that catapult you to the success that you achieved. I promise you, there are going to be many days where you don't feel like anything. You don't feel like doing anything. There's going to be many days where you kind of feel like what you did wasn't good enough. Many days like that. But push past those days, man. It's <laughs> procrastination is something else. Negative thinking is something else. And if you don't surround yourself with greatness, if you don't surround yourself with things that continue to feed into you rather than things that take from you, it's going to be very difficult to have that positive talk to yourself. And even your music makes a difference, y'all. I'll tell you that. <laughs> don't listen. I can, I can honestly say, I mean, depending on if you're working out or whatever else, don't listen to a lot of stuff that has a lot of profanity. Don't listen to a lot of stuff that has a lot of uh, degrading of any uh, particular... Uh, sex or race or whatever stuff like that and trust me it makes a difference it makes a difference if you have some time where you're sitting by yourself man cut on some jazz music something with no words yo know, the, the the music that you hear in yoga studios they help you focus and kind of tune your mind into one thing one positive thing all right but how you communicate with yourself makes a huge difference uh, man, I'm finna tune in right now. As a matter of fact, I'm finna kind of wind down and tune into, not wind down, I'm finna um, get my mind into a specific place where I typically, what I what I do, uh, before I get ready to get into a workout and grind and get it done. Because it is day 26 of 90 and I'm getting it done. So how do you talk to yourself? How do you communicate with yourself? Let me know, drop in the comments, one thing that you say yourself, whether it's an affirmation or if it's just a positive talk, tell me one thing that you actually feed yourself each and every day that moves you closer to your goal. It, it keeps you in a positive frame of mind. Even if it's a, if you wake up and it's some days you don't feel like doing this and you say, I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for my son. I'm doing this for my daughter. I'm doing this for my wife. I'm doing this because I want a better life. Whatever it may, whatever one positive thing that you feed yourself each and every day, drop it in the comments. If you've made it this far in the live, appreciate you listening on. If it's some value to you, if you know somebody who's always kind of negative, negatively feeding themselves, they kind of down themselves because of whatever their physical or mental situation may be, and they just need something, hey, tag them. Let them hear this. Like, hey, listen to this, man. You, you need to hear this. I'm tired of hearing you talk about yourself like this. Listen to this. Like I said, let them hear it. Tag them, share it. Take the take the URL and uh, place it in their inbox and say, hey, listen to this. This makes a lot of sense. It's time for you to stop feeding yourself the negative and listen to the positive within you because you've got it. I want to see you do better, and the way you talk to yourself makes a huge difference. Let, make sure they hear this. Share this on your page. All right? But I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to grind, get ready, uh, cut on, get into my workout mindset as I get ready to head to the gym. This is a, once again hashtag the accountability guy. Twenty six of ninety, day twenty six of ninety, still pushing. Twenty six of ninety one. Sorry, I told you I missed yesterday, but uh, it's Linda Britt from SuccessWithLinda.com. I got another nice little lie. I got a um, matter of fact, we're gonna keep continue to roll with communication. Yesterday on breakfast with the Brits, we spoke about communication. Uh, uh, I spoke with my wife. We got to talk about communicating how it makes a huge difference in a relationship. Today, this morning, I talked about communicating with yourself. And uh, right after I get through working out on the way to work, we're going to talk about communicating to get better results in your business. 
how to how to communicate to get better results in your business, more action from your team. Excuse me. All right. All right. Well, y'all have a blessed and wonderful. I will see y'all in just a little bit after I get through working out. Day 26 and 90. Let's rock and roll. Let's get it. How you communicate with yourself. Like I said, drop the most positive comment that you tell yourself each and every day. How you talk to yourself. The one thing that you tell yourself that drives you and pushes you to uh, achieve the things that you want. Let me know what it is. Drop it in the comments. And make sure you check out SuccessWithLinden.com. Lots more. Tune in. All right, look me up on YouTube. You're going to find a lot more stuff that will be able to help you with your mindset as well as strategies if you're a business owner on my page. Go to YouTube, look up Lyndon Brits. All right, find the videos, find the page. Check out a lot of the videos and give me drop the comments. Let me know what you're uh, thinking on the inside. All right, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. See y'all later.